Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the new cargo and passenger loading screens in the Salty 747, coming up on this episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue. <laughs> welcome back everyone. Before we get started in today's video, if you're unsure of how to download the Salty 747 mod, I'll post a link down below in the description. Be sure to check that out. In the process of your download, make sure that you're also using the developer version of the mod. Now with that out of the way, if you have any comments or questions while we're going through this today, please post them down below in the comments section. And if the video helps you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. At first glance, this is what you will see once you power up the aircraft. To get to the new cargo and passenger loading screens, you're just going to tap on the Salty 747 button. As you'll see over here on the right, we have the new fuel and payload menus. We're going to check out the fuel menu first by tapping on the soft key next to the word fuel. At the bottom of this menu, we have a couple different options. We're able to change the refuel rate between real, fast, and instant. Above that, we're also able to download or send for request for our fuel load from a Simbri flight plan. At the top is where we can select the amount of fuel that we want in the aircraft fuel tanks. As you can see over here on the left, we have 50.0 kilograms of fuel. To add a new fuel weight to the aircraft, we're just going to tap on the numerical buttons at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and set 30 kilograms, 30.0. And then we're just going to tap on the selected fuel soft key over here on the right. It won't add or subtract any fuel at this point until we hit the start refuel button. And I also want to remind you that we are using the real refuel rate as shown here at the bottom. So we're going to click on the soft key. And as you can see, it is starting to refuel or defuel the aircraft down to 30.0 kilograms. If you wish to stop the refueling process, we can just tap on the stop refuel right underneath here. Now let's go ahead and try the instant refuel rate by just selecting instant, heading up to the top, hit start, and as you can see, it instantly changed our fuel weight. Okay, so that pretty much takes care of the fuel load options. To get back, we're gonna tap on the return to option soft key. Now let's take a look at the payload menu. To get there, we're just gonna tap on the soft key next to the word payload. This will open up a new menu for us, and at the bottom, you can see that we have a couple new options here to choose from. We have a boarding rate of real, fast, and instant, Above that, we can also choose to send off for request for a Simbri flight plan. Above that, we have the passenger details. So if we click on the show button, it will pretty much bring us to a passenger loadout screen that will show us what passengers are in what zone. I don't really think we can do anything here, just more of a visual. So we're gonna tap back on the payload. Above that, we have the start boarding button. Now this button is also gonna control any of the cargo as well. So if you're only transporting cargo, this will be the start button to transfer or to load your cargo onto the aircraft. You'll also notice here that I'm in kilograms for everything. That's just because I didn't change that to pounds in the FMC itself. At the very top of the menu, we have your cargo selection as well as your passenger selection. Before we start loading anything into the aircraft, I just want everybody to take note of the weight and balance sheet I have on the left as well as the gross weight up here on the top right. You're gonna notice some inconsistencies when you're looking at these. So for the demonstration, we're gonna load in 10 kilos of cargo. Also note that I changed the boarding rate to instant, so we're not waiting around that long. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit boarding, and you can see it instantly changed the gross weight of the aircraft. Now we're gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna reset it to zero, but now I want everybody to take note of the payload manager over here on the left. So this is the InSim payload manager. Now watch what happens here when I hit start boarding. As you'll notice, nothing changed in the payload manager. We're also gonna check that out now with the passenger loadout. So if we just punch in say 250 passengers, we're gonna hit the soft key next to the passenger. You'll notice nothing has been loaded yet. We're gonna hit start boarding. Now the plane shook a little bit. You can see the gross weight of the plane increased, but our weight and balance over here on the left did not increase at all. So a quick tip to avoid any issues with the payload of the aircraft 
If you're going to be using the FMC for that, do not use the in-sim weight and balance sheet. And if you're going to use the in-sim weight and balance sheet, then don't use the FMC to do your payload. All right, folks, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section, and I will get right back to you. If the video helped you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.